If you're struggling to lose weight through cycling, then it could be because you're not fueling well while riding. So welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to fuel efficiently so you can minimize any binge eating after your ride, which could be inhibiting when it comes to losing weight. So a lot of people think they can just cycle for hours and not really focus on the food they're consuming because they're burning all the calories. But actually the opposite is true. What you really need to do is focus on the food you're consuming while riding in order to minimize any binges off the bike, which can certainly increase your calorie consumption after cycling and undo all that hard work that you've just done on the bike. A lot of clients I've spoken to and worked with do struggle with binge eating off the bike. So they might come back from a long bike ride feel really depleted and just grab the first thing that they see in the cupboards just to make themselves feel a little bit more normal after feeling pretty wiped out after a hard weekend ride. What you need to do is focus on what you eat on the bike and make that a priority for you in order to minimize the binge eating. So key thing is when riding for three or four hours, you wanna make sure that you're consuming plenty of carbohydrates on average 60 to 90 grams of carbs per hour. So if you have breakfast in the morning, maybe a good bowl of porridge with some protein like an omelet. And then after the first hour of riding, make sure you consume at least 60 to 90 grams of carbs per hour. And this could be in the form of a carbohydrate drink, energy bars. I personally prefer to use more of a carbohydrate drink. I find I get the carbs into to my bloodstream really efficiently. I don't like eating too much on the bike as well, so this worked really well. I use Skirka, which are amazing. I've used them recently. It got me through the Dragon Ride, which was 134 miles. I'm not affiliated to them or sponsored at all. I just wanted to share what I use because I feel they're really good. So I'll post the link to their website in the comments below. But by fueling through a carbohydrate drink to get in at least 60 to 90 grams of carbs per hour. And the recommendation is that you want to be getting in at least one gram per kilogram of body weight per hour. Pros these days are getting upwards of 100 grams of carbs per hour, but for a nice weekend bike ride, you want to be having 60 to 90 grams of carbs and start at 60 just to allow your body to get used to that consumption while riding. If you have too much, you might feel a little bit uncomfortable on the bike, maybe a bit of stomach distress. So work your way up to having a bit more, but that nice sweet spot between 60 and 90 grams is where you wanna be. Make sure you're consuming that amount of carbs every hour up until you finish the bike ride. A lot of time we actually get to the end of a bike ride and at the last hour tend to ease off a little bit. No one we're close to home, ready for a coffee and cake stop. But actually, if you consume up to the end of your bike ride, you'll be less inclined to binge eat when you get home. And by doing so, you'll be a little bit more mindful of the foods you're having. Still enjoy a treat, obviously, but you're not gonna raid the fridge and consume a copious amount of calories just because you've not fueled well while on the bike. Another key tip as well, when you get back from your long hard ride is to make sure that you hydrate really efficiently. Even though you're consuming plenty of carbohydrates on the bike, you're still gonna be pretty dehydrated. So probably have at least a litre of water, maybe with some added salt to replenish some electrolytes that you might have lost. And also on top of that, maybe have something prepared like some pasta and chicken. Just allow your body to get some carbohydrates in and some protein, which is gonna help aid some muscle repair and muscle recovery and fueling the muscles, carbohydrates and the glycogen back into the muscles to help fuel you for the rest of the day and aid your recovery more efficiently for your next ride or next week's worth of training. Those two key elements alongside making sure you're fueling well on the ride should help you minimize any binge eating and help you manage your weight better off the bike. If you need a bit more support on that, I do have a free guide. The link will be in the comments below, but it just goes through how to fuel well before your ride, during your ride and after your ride, just to help you manage your weight better, but also get the most out of your performance on the bike so you can cycle faster, recover quicker. So that wraps up today's video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.